Hello Christian and channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So I am really happy to meet you all once again, this time with a very genuine review about a so called Scopus Index Journal. The name of the journal is just Unitex. So they say that it's a trade journal. Well in this video we are going to find out whether this website is really currently indexed in the Scopus database and how about its indexing in the Web of Science database, ABDC journal list and UGC care group 1 or maybe group 2 list. So in this video we will also try to understand what is the real website of this particular journal. So without wasting much of our time let us go straight into the review of Unitex. The review about uh, this Unitex journal all started out with this particular email that I received just one day back okay so it has come from ERC journal publications okay uh, they say that uh, publication under Scopus norms journal so it is uh, present in the spam folder you can see that okay so it shows dear sir madam Unitex is present in the Scopus active okay so the web they have given Unitex journal dot net okay so they have also given a gmail id thank you Unitex okay so okay so that uh, really uh, made me to research about this particular journal whether this journal has been currently indexed in the Scopus database so that is the reason I searched for Unitex journal website I really wanted to know which is the real website of this journal so the first search result comes from Unitex journal dot net okay of course uh, Sai Imago Jehar has discussed about this one also there is another one website unitex.be okay so there are still other uh, indexing websites that has discussed about this particular journal so you can see uh, mainly the publisher country is belgium okay so we'll go to the first uh, journal website okay so this is unitexjournal.net so they say that unitex scopus present open access indexed okay so they have given a iassn number okay and they have given the same email id Okay, so it shows that this journal has a impact factor of 6.833 which is actually calculated by the Google Scholar and Semantic Scholar AI Pad Research Tool. I really don't understand how you can get an impact factor of 6 point something for a normal journal. Okay, so they say it's currently indexed in the Scopus database. We'll try to find out. Also here you can see the screenshot that uh, it is currently indexed in the Scopus. But you can see Scopus coverage years 2001 till 2022. We are currently in 2023. Okay, so the screenshot itself tells that this journal is not in the Scopus database currently. Okay, so the same ISSN has been mentioned. Okay, so anyway, we will try to check it. Okay, and another one thing you should note acceptance status notification within one day they will be giving, and publication status notification within one day they are giving. Okay, so it is uh, suspicious, of course, it is malicious even. Okay, we will try to uh, research more about the call for papers. So when I browse through the topics, I can find, you know, all the research fields. Okay, all the research fields. For example, you have something in mind and you see about that, definitely it will be present. Okay, right. And you can see in the all approval and license, it shows it is currently in Google Scholar, uh, Research Bib, Road, ISSUU, ISSN. Okay, so these are all like normal indexing databases. And when we browse through the editorial section, you can see Hans Z. Burr, okay, editor in chief. We already saw that this journal, uh, the country is from Belgium, okay. So, uh, the name similar to that they have mentioned, okay. But we do not have affiliation details, uh, organization, company, or maybe institution, or maybe university details with pin code. So, only blank names has been mentioned, okay. We are uh, currently uh, in a dilemma. <laughs> Uh, what is the exact reason why they have mentioned in this way but there are some Indian names also okay so we can see more here if you can see about the publication charges you can see for Indian authors it is 2000 rupees and for foreign authors it is hundred dollars so hundred dollars in Indian rupees it is approximately 8000 rupees so you should note a country called Belgium why they should charge in Indian rupees okay so they should make it in us dollars or the belgium currency they should uh, refer to okay and publication charges where uh, they are uh, trying to spend it you can look into it so they have mentioned and they have mentioned maximum five authors per paper here in the 
uh, you know home page even they have mentioned it falls under group 2 journal okay but anyway we will try to find out okay so the publication guidelines they have given very simple guidelines and uh, whether acceptance or rejection the notification will be given within one to two days so this is the current issue of this uh, journal volume 8 issue 6 you can see only three articles even when I browse through the past issues even uh, uh, for every month they are trying to publish it I cannot find much of the articles here in this particular journal when we browse through the contact section okay so editor-in-chief has been mentioned okay he is from Belgium let us take it the case okay so why they have mentioned an address of Indian origin okay you should think about that okay so they have given a complete address okay it is well and good but the country is from Belgium okay and email ID one Gmail ID has been mentioned you can mention it at the rate of neonitexjournal.net why they haven't mentioned and they have given a online chat support and for any queries you can contact them they have mentioned you can see the chat support uh, you know belonging to Indian standard time that is also suspicious with so many questions in mind we are going into Sci Imago journal rank so here we have searched for unitex so there are two search results unitext okay and another one unitex that is Belgium so this is the one we should look on to so we can go into unitex unitex it is basically a trade journal so you can see subject area and category material science polymers and plastics only as you can see in the website uh, there are many fields that has been mentioned okay so that is the real picture you get from the Sci Imago and publisher nothing has been mentioned okay and H index just three uh, publication type as I told you it's a trade journal and the same ISSN what is mentioned in that website is mentioned here okay and coverage years 2001 till 2022 again it's a dilemma because you are in a confusion because uh, Sci Imago year only publishes uh, one year before okay so whether currently it is indexed in 2023 we really don't know we'll try to find out okay and here the good thing is information they have given home page okay so we are going into this home page so here you can see unitex.be that was the third uh, search result that you have got okay so which means that this unitexjournal.net we believe it's a fake website according to Sci Imago JR. We believe that this uh, unitexjournal.net is a fake website according to Sci Imago JR. So scope information not localized. Okay, so you can see under polymers and plastics it belongs to Q4 quartile up to 2022. So we can see the two year, four year and five year statistics here and down there are no comments. Okay. So no comments means you should not think okay this journal is a very good journal not like that so uh, nobody has known about this particular journal okay so that is the reason we are uh, taking a very bold step towards a genuine review of this website so we have checked inside Imago JR okay of course we have found one website unitex.be that is our original website anyway we will check in the scopus okay so in scopus.com we can check okay the title okay so if you make sure you enter scopus.com sources is selected and title is being selected here you type unitex okay so here you can click on this unitex you are getting a search result okay so unitex site score 0, 0.0 citations uh, 2019 till 2022 just one citation documents there are 37 documents percentage cited is just three okay so we are going into unitex okay so you can see the journal information here okay so according to this scopus.com you can see that this journal has been indexed from 2001 till 2022 not indexed in 2023 that you should note it and the same ISSN has been mentioned source type it's a trade journal okay uh, here there is no source homepage, so we cannot verify that so scopus content coverage you can see 2023 there are no documents so we are in july so which means that still if it is not indexed means then the journal is not currently indexed in the scopus database so you can see uh, from uh, you know 2001 it has been there uh, 60 70 80 90 documents were there then they try to reduce and afterwards there are no documents okay maybe the reason that uh, they trying to clone this particular website uh, we are not getting uh, exact picture so that is the reason they would have removed the indexing so we'll go into masterjournalist.clarivate.com so this is the web of science database 
we have searched for unitex either you can search for unitex or maybe you can search with the issn number you did not get the search result which means that this journal is also not indexed in the web of science database similarly in the australian business teams council abdc journal list so here we can search for unitex okay so we are searching for unitex and we are pressing enter we are not getting the search result there are no journals that match these parameters which means that this journal is not indexed in the abdc journal list also but if you can go with the ugc care journal list okay so uh, it shows that uh, okay uh, scopus uh, ahci scie ssci all these journals which are currently active definitely it will be indexed in the ugc care group 2 but according to the first website that is nothing but the fake website they have mentioned that it falls under group 2 but we have checked with the scopus.com it is not currently indexed in the scopus database which means that no way it falls in the ugc care group 2 also uh, i have checked this particular journal in this list here okay there are no search results also i checked with the list of clone journals in ugc care group 2 there are no search results list of clone journals ugc care group 1 also there are no search results okay also delisted journals from group 2 that also i have checked no search results i wish that uh, ugc care should take some steps actually it doesn't uh, fall under group 1 so in this case you can go for list of clone journals ugc care group 2 and display the original website of this particular journal well coming back uh, to sci imago jr so this was the only place uh, where you are getting the home page of this journal unitex.be but uh, you know when i went through this particular journal i did not get any particular information see there should be some archive section editorial board section nothing has been displayed here you shows login as a member fill in the application form only this has been mentioned so it has just mentioned to become a member okay so taking it as a trade journal i really wish ugc care to take immediate action even the scopus database to remove its indexing papers completely from the list and as you can see this journal is not currently indexed in the scopus database not indexed in the master journal list or web of science database not indexed in the abdc journal list not indexed in the ugc care journal list as well and we have found out the clone website as well as the real website i really wish our channel members not to submit any research paper to this particular journal because we do not know what is really going on with the real website but only the fake website is in operation so if you have any questions clarifications please share them in the comment section so i believe you would have found this review much more useful and i request faculty members research scholars and industry specialists to be really aware what is going in and around the world so if you have any positive or maybe negative experience with this particular journal, please share them in the comment section. And of course, if you have come across any particular journal in UGC Care, ABDC Journal List, SCI, ISI, Scopus or maybe Web of Science, please share them in the comment section as well. So see you then in another interesting yet genuine review. Till then, collaboration is available.